So someone told me that the peace ending actually involves mind control. So we're going to check that out today. And there's enough comments that wanted to see it. So we're going to check it out today. We just start as we always do by building up all the necessary buildings so we can get through this as quickly as possible because I feel like our odds are at the lowest when we're just focusing on peace. Because like we're over here trying to make peace with the hornets and wasps and everything. But no, they just want to destroy us because they're rude. So if they want to hurt us, then we have to make sure that we have enough soldiers to protect us so we can peacefully destroy the aggressors and hopefully be able to do enough of this on our own because we can't even call the hornets to our side until the second era and like before we devote our second kindergarten to only the worker bees and make sure our soldier bees are well armed and then get the first of the honey factories in for more bees and then i'm wondering how far we can get with only soldier bees so that we can devote more to the center tree for the peace instead of up here for like military or down here for construction the first era needs a little bit of everything anyway but i'm hoping i can just speed up the process and since there's only one attack wasp coming in we have a little bit of extra time so now that he's sleeping with the fishes we can start putting research into the aluminum bucket to make our bees faster and then make sure the queue is full up on soldiers and then prioritize the honey factory so we get more bees there so now we have production on that side of things although i would like them to finish these hexes so we can get more honey farms in here that's more like it there we go now our worker bees are faster let's go ahead and get the kavacha in and now that they finally completed this hex we can get the third honey factory in and this space right here looks really good for a kavacha and we can begin some development over here because i want the ballistas pretty soon we have a lot of building to catch up on and not enough wax to do it quite yet let's also get the honey production speed researched because we need a lot more bees for this to pull off pretty well even still one two three wasps are nothing to worry about i'll just listen to the fighting that's purely in my left ear and let our bees get back to what they were doing because they took care of that no problem there's a singular dead bee that does not go on record what are you gonna talk about him this might be a little too much planning with all the empty tiles and honestly not nearly enough wax to fund everything I need to do but I know what I want and I'll wait as long as I need to to get it because the first couple ways are nothing and this spot right here is for another kavacha now hopefully our builder bee recognizes that this one is full there he does so now we have some defense against the incoming dragonflies and now our honey production is increased now we'll work towards getting that ballista and I need so much wax for things I still don't have a third honey factory can you bees hurry up? Can you bee a little faster? Now the question is, will we get the ballista before the next wave starts? I'm thinking it's going to be close. Oh look, the bees finally completed a hex that a ballista can go on. That's good, because they're finally researching it too. And it looks like we have enough wax put in place for our second kavacha. I like that, especially when the builder bee is on it right away. We'll also get him right away on the ballista. And I think I'll actually save on the research right now because everything needs wax. Actually, I can research a small fountain because we need honey storage right here anyway because apparently you need palm trees before the ability to store honey. In any case, that should give our bees the chance to build up the third honey factory finally and a few more places for ballistas before we research something else. Another good thing is that we're getting more bees produced because the honey isn't going towards research either. Less than a minute. I don't think we're gonna get a ballista this time. Although we are getting enough wax built up, so maybe. Hoping that the builder bee can work fast enough. Here he comes on his way to build the ballista. Five seconds left. Can you do it? Can he build it? Yes, he can. Wave has started and the ballista is complete right before any enemies are in range. Perfect. I'll take over Kavacha though. I like these things. They just go ba da 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 and then you gotta wait. And then they go ba da 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 and the dragonfly goes down. It's a beautiful invention. And taking down the wasps like we do is beautiful. Just pushes them way away. Get on out of here. Alright, that's all I need to do. And then we can put in places for more ballistas. And resume our research for the palm tree, which I forgot how much pollen this takes. But now we have footprints in place for three more ballistas ballistas that should help against the next wave of dragonflies our third honey factory is finally up and running you know what i do wonder if i can cancel the palm research and start up the double bottom research sadly it gets rid of all the resources in there that's not what i was hoping for but i need to prioritize peace because we've already explored every other option oh and i didn't realize the science bee threw hay bales into the furnace that's cool i thought i just flew around willy-nilly until things were working he actually does something i like that and our defense force is looking pretty strong strong already, including our worker bees. I can also probably watch how many worker bees I'm actually making because last time when we had like 50 of them, there was a bunch of them flying around doing really nothing. So that means that we can save production on the worker bees and get more important things like builder bees. Also, what did the menu just do? I don't know, but we can finish out Thor's hammer upgrade, which fixes the menu. Thor's hammer is good for a lot of things. There we go. Thor's hammer is researched and we can get into the new era. But I will wait on this stuff because I want to come back here and get that reduced 
research time. Ooh, and we have a second ballista. That's good. Now, the question is, are four ballistas enough? Normally, I would say no, but we need to save our resources. And for this next wave, I think they will be. I think, personally, this tier of tech is my favorite. I just love this effect that plays out with the weird energy things and the super colliders that turn bees into sand bees. But now we can research better research time. And thankfully, we already have pretty much all the resources for that. So that can get going right away. And then once we're done here, we can double back to improved preparation to get the soldier bees faster because we should also have all the resources we need for that at least we would but we're also currently out of nectar and pollen because everywhere needs it right now i also kind of just want to put a kibacha right here to fill in the gap and right here i mean we have plenty of wax stored up so we might as well use it especially since the wave just showed up but i really don't think i need to worry this time although i wouldn't think i would need to worry about it but a dragonfly just got through how could you do that now they're gonna destroy honey or something actually nothing got destroyed Good. Just severely damaged. We need more builder bees. And to take out this other dragonfly that's rolling up. Get on out of here. There we go. Took you out in due time. And no poison gas got dropped. That's A. You weren't supposed to drop anything. Cheater. How can dragonflies spray poison gas anyway? It makes no sense. Although if they're doing that, we should probably get better defenses. But for that, we need hardened wax. So we can go for this right now. Playing up a nice little area for that. Times two. Or maybe three. Three's a good number. And thankfully, we have all the wax that we need for that research right away just in time for ladybugs and i'm also gonna need an ambrosia factory but right now let's get wax storage because we need a lot more wax and we already have a plot of land for the hardened wax factory so we can get that started right away very good and all the other plots of land are in so that's more hardened wax factories for us should we also get honey storage i think we can wait on that i need ambrosia factory first and to also designate these two spaces as wax storage Ooh, but we're already getting the first hardened wax factory i love it and we have enough builder bees to make this go by pretty quickly. There we go. Now that we have ambrosia, I probably should have put a spot for that in somewhere. That's fine. We still have spaces. There's only a minute left. I wonder if I can get the haystack researched quickly enough. Because it's still only the starter bees that have the hay bales. And I don't have many of those left. But we'll go ahead and get the first ambrosia factory in place. Which may or may not be destroyed by the dragonflies that are about to show up. But we'll find out. Maybe I can see a dragonfly early enough and start sniping it with a ballista. Okay, the ballista seems to fly in a straight lines so let's just point you like that and ooh, i definitely hit that i'm focusing on dragonflies that's three ballista bolts and then one more oh gosh i can't see it ah it arrived Aha! all right sprayed a little bit not too much was there another one actually I don't see another one let's focus on the ladybug now because the soldiers seem to be taking out the wasps fairly fine that is really weird to say. Wasps. Ah, well, Ladybug's about to go down. At least I would think so. There we go. More ballistas focusing on it. And all the soldier bees. All right, I'm done here. They handled that well enough. Look at how far away it was when it went down. That is some beautiful defense there. Okay, now let's go ahead and start research on the military reform. Just so we can get the better anti-air guns. And probably better soldiers. Or can I get by with the regular soldiers? It'll be difficult once the enemy gets gunpowder. But hey, now we have an ambrosia factory underway, which is good. And I have hardened weapons that is waiting to be used. So we can actually get some places set up for the anti-air guns that now we can research. Oh, look at this. The builder bees are dividing up the work. That's using the noggins. And now we have all three ambrosia factories set up. Very nice. And then maybe also get some more set up for the barracks. Let's go right up here. And we already have three full pots of ambrosia that we could put towards our soldiers. Or we put it into the medical center. Hmm. I think the medical center. We don't even have the improved barracks to use anyway. Tell you what we do have though available placement for the anti-air guns so we can finally put this hardened wax to use and now we can get agitation so we can get some hornets to our side and perfect timing on this too we can get the barracks in place and there's all the hardened wax in place so now all the builder bees can flock to this anti-air gun to build it right before the wave shows up that's some beautiful craftsmanship right there and we're also getting the agitation researched so it will be the middle of the wave but at least we'll be able to call the allies to our sides use our improved defense to take out the dragonflies quickly i like it is there another one there is another one coming in let's just get you warmed up right away or take out the ladybug ladybug is a lot closer than i thought he'd be and he's dropping larva i wish i could shoot the larva out of the sky but this doesn't work like that so fine i'll just take you down is dragonfly down no did we lose anything we lost a kindergarten already i've never lost a kindergarten that fast that's so sad well they still give us a chance to get some better soldiers because that's the one that was making soldiers so we'll use the second one to divide up the work between the normal bees and the builders at least until we research the school agitation is here for us as it is and they don't even have gunpowder yet and we have improved hornets that's amazing oh 
Never mind. There's a gunpowder. Now it gets to the interesting stuff. There's not many good researches left for us. I suppose we get the filter to reduce the honey production cost. Not that we're really lacking in that department though. And then once we have that, we can improve the speed of our soldiers being produced. And thankfully we started these guys late enough that even though they're constantly needing ambrosia, we still have full stockpiles on that. I like this. We could also probably build up that hospital to start training some medical bees. And where's a good spot for that? It can actually squeeze really nicely between the ballistas right here. I don't think that will reduce their attack power or at least their visibility. I like it when things are nice and clean looking. There we go. Now let's go ahead and research Peaky Blinders so we can get to the howitzer. I really like the howitzer. It's my favorite. And now the medical center can go in. We have two leftover hexes right here. That looks like a good spot for a howitzer if we can get it soon enough, which I think we can, but we're definitely not getting that howitzer before the next attack wave. So maybe I should put in a anti-air gun just in case. Not just in case, in case. This is the case for a, another anti-aircraft gun. My brain's running on caffeine and Dayquil, so I don't words all that good. And maybe I should get that wax alloy just so our hexes can sustain a little more damage because I already see the shadow for a ladybug and that's not pleasant. And that dragonfly didn't do anything, surprisingly. Okay, there's a research for the howitzer, but we can't get it yet anyway. Why don't we go ahead and research the school so we can get that wax alloy? And oh gosh, yep, there goes a hex. Thankfully, we're getting the medical school though. Even though I really can't use it right now. Oh gosh. As long as I'm not losing any production buildings, I'm okay with that. Just, ah, this hurts so bad. But we did it. And we only lost pollen storage. I'm okay with that. I also totally forgot the medics use hardened wax. I thought it was just ambrosia. Let's go ahead and wait on that. And then figure out something to do in this little space here because I don't like the way it looks. Until then though, we'll get wax alloy to improve the health of our buildings. And maybe get a medic or two started because all the resources are in place for that right now. And our soldier bees could use some healing, but surprisingly, we still haven't lost any. Wow, our defense gets better the more I play this. Funny how that works. Now I forget what the footprint of the school is. Yeah, it's big, but I can reasonably put that in over here, put the nerds right in next to the soldiers, and then there will be a spot right here for some good things, like a rocket launcher. And check it out, we already have the footprint for the school. That's amazing. So that can go in. We call in some more allies to our side, and then I can stop building builder bees here because I'll build them at the school. So both of these can really be dedicated to worker production until we get enough that it's really not beneficial, which actually could be right now because I'm seeing some worker bees just flying around the queen. So maybe we stop this. At least for now, our bees don't seem to be in any real danger because none have died according to our records. And now we have the school so we can get builder bees going up over there, building lovely little statues of me. And now we can get the howitzer, hopefully, maybe. I don't think so, but we can definitely find a few more places for that. And those meg bees are really going at it with healing everybody. All right, the next wave is here. So that's cool, I guess. Let's see if I can find a dragonfly to snipe. There's one, and I missed. Maybe I should have gotten that composite bowstring. Doesn't matter though, our structures are holding thanks to the wax alloy, and I totally missed that one. Sniping dragonflies is hard. You know what, I'm just gonna let the AI do it. And we sadly lost some honey storage, so that's fine. If all we're losing is storage, then there's really nothing to worry about, and our soldiers are really into the fight here. Lovely. Although I also don't have honey storage research just yet, which is really too bad. At least I'll have plenty of time to get the howitzers. Okay. Okay, now we'll get honey storage back here and that will allow us to get some howitzers hopefully developed because the hardened wax won't be used for anything else except for maybe making the nurses which we have six right now let's go ahead and get four more so the honey storage can go back in there and i'm thinking i'll use these three down here for honey storage because we have a lot of it and then we'll research royal food which increases the queen's health but i don't really see how that's an issue when the queen's barely in danger tell you what is an issue though an empty soldier queue and this is a lot of honey right here population growth egg spawning faster and yeah that'll be good for us it'll get us to the new era and all of our howitzer placements are built up i like it we can get another howitzer placement set up right over here and we'll be able to put those howitzers to work now that the next wave has arrived and we can get to the new era so we can start to research hmm academician for better research time i'll let the howitzers do their thing i'm more focused on making sure nothing really gets too much damaged and the dragonfly went down so fast i like it and this one's really knocked off course he almost did a barrel roll and our spot is built up for another howitzer 
launcher and a rocket launcher because why not and our defenses are working so good we haven't lost like any buildings doesn't seem like it but also what are we waiting on oh another ladybug well i can help with that and what else another ladybug surprise cool i don't even have to tell a beast to retreat okay and now the next wave is wave 10 is that when the moths arrive or after i honestly forget every time okay now let's get improved medicine because that'll let us research this next so we can get 10 hornets every time also we are way too good at producing honey the new storages i built in are already filling up although the pods are getting filled up they're just being filled separately which is really misleading when you look in here maybe i just need to have more faith in my bees also what is going on over here the wax storage is bubbling which is strange it's not damaged it's not on fire is there something going on underneath no how does wax create bubbles makes no sense i am confusion ah well but now we're researching the better medicine and amazingly there's still only one bee death on record i didn't think we were that good there we go live in peace thankfully the middle branch only has like one thing of research so it actually takes the least amount of research in order to complete it's very interesting so after this it's just one and then two in order to complete the peace ending so we're actually almost there i really wonder if the peace ending is my control or if we've just been duped and if there's no my control i will be thoroughly disappointed more enemies are coming in just gonna go ahead and snipe a dragonfly beautiful hit having to lead it some more oh that one didn't connect all right now I'll just let the computer do its thing while i keep good eye on my buildings ah that honey storage went down again it was the same one last time and we lost some nectar storage so cool oh my gosh the royal medicines takes six ambrosia and then field tox can we oh no we can't call new allies yet that's fine did we just lose another hex we lost the raft that i put down really come on but now it's quiet until the next batch of enemies shows up which is just a bunch of ladybugs i remember this it honestly seems like the housers don't do nearly the effect that the ballistas do but they all go down in the end so i'm not worried about it now before we get to this because that costs a lot let's increase our stove temperature that will eventually give us fierce kneading for better production on ambrosia and and hardened wax even though they're pretty full on that and we're really full on wax too the normal ones crazy might as well just put in more things that need them like a rocket launcher over here bring back the honey storage as well as the nectar storage make sure we keep getting more soldiers and the builders really haven't been hurting that much i'll just make one more so we can have an even 30 and that got researched really quickly so let's go to fierce needing i'm honestly surprised we're doing as well as we have been really zero major structures except for the one kindergarten in the beginning but other than that our defense has been really strong so far and we're able to get 10 more allies to our sides let's see we have 15 right now press this button and now we have 25 exactly oh and they're the level three hornets too wait that means the enemy is level three did I know that? I don't know if I knew that. Doesn't matter. We have the cyber bees now. Cyber hornets. I really wonder if it would work having only allies and no soldier bees. Probably not. They'd be overwhelmed pretty fast, I'd imagine. Should I get more defenses? I think I can get more defenses. We have enough supplies for it. Let's get royal medicines now because it should happen fairly fast, I hope. We're definitely going to fight the next wave before we get there. All of our medic bees are on standby and we have another howitzer on the way and a rocket launcher. And our builders are super fast on creating those guns. Look at that howitzer get built. My goodness, it's like watching a 3D printer time lapse. And now all of our ambrosia is in and our D20 is buzzing. Right as a wave shows up, that's fine. We haven't even seen the moths yet. And there's a the level three dragonflies. I thought they'd be here. And look at all of our soldiers going out there is beautiful and there the medic bees go to work and now we can get field talks which takes a little bit of everything which we should have built up so yes i really wonder once i get this i use it on a wave with the moth if the moth will just turn around and go but i also have no idea how it decides the half if it's like the top half bottom half random half there's a little bit of everything perfectly balanced as all things should be we're losing a lot of the individual hexes but not so much the major ones which i'm okay with now all we need is pollen and nectar which every structure needs so this might take a little bit longer we have a full thing in nectar just use that to the research please oh actually never mind we are researching it and that takes a full minute even with the other research upgrades but thankfully we're getting it before the moths even arrive we are really speed running peas at this rate oh there it is we have the field talks i really want to watch it happen at the next wave so let's actually wait on that we have the peace choice available to us let's just extend out to here so we have a good perimeter and then we'll just fill it with decoration because might as well have it look nice while we're here. Just set it up all around the outside like this with a little bit of a gap 
between it and the mainland. So we have a fun little border on everything. So now we can fill it with things like palm trees. We'll go ahead and call some more allies to our side. And now the enemies are here. So we can see these peace talks happen, so to speak. Let's see, I see a few ladybugs. There's two over there, one over there. So if I turn this on and, well, bam, do some of them turn around? Oh, the ladybug's turning around. Do you see that? He's flying away. Not the rest of these guys though, get out of here. Yeah, look at that. He's totally just turning around and going home. That's amazing. We'll see how we stand after this wave and then activate the peace ending. Yeah, look at that. He's just sailing straight towards the volcano. Oh, you beautiful thing, you. It seemed to work out pretty well in our favor. We lost some of the decorative border that we had going on, which is too bad. But we have a full row of palm trees here, which I really like. So now let's go ahead and activate the choice for the peace ending. Let's see what this looks like. The queen is marching out to meet them. And there's a, what is that? Oh, it's like an altar. And there's the Hornet queen signing the peace treaty. All it took was the deaths of 500 hornets and everybody's happy but where's the mind control start of a peaceful era there's been no mind control here i've been lied to well peace is fine i guess the most boring ending i've ever done but that's what it is so i hope you guys have been enjoying these videos of bee island if you did and you want to see the challenges then make sure you subscribe because we'll probably check those out in the future thank you very much for watching this video though and sub to intern i'd also like to thank the channel members including bread mr cripple one ancient elixir one corby farm dakota c donamoto Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, and Lily Bites.